Welcome back to the show, everybody. It's Captain Right Die Z O Episode Eight Point Five One Two Three Four Five. The terrifying time paradox. These half episodes are better than we deserve. In general, period. It's like I really think that the, the that the the flow from now on is gonna be covering the episodes as they are, and then covering the half episodes separately because yo, this was off the chain. Is that the main idea of this? Is that if you think about the episodes, it's usually after the day is saved, thanks to the Powerpuff Girls, OG Young Sogo, Gay Z, and the Moon Juice. If you see that ultimately the rider watches get handed to the rider themselves, that use it. And then they go about their business for them to ultimately do this. If you remember in the episode, this never happened. Ever. There was no scene of it or anything. And this, and this whole half episode was just poking fun at this fact, number one. Number two, if y'all didn't know that, mom, that, that Nito is that dude and the one of the few redeemable things about Kamen Rider Weezardo, this proved it. This, this proved it. Sprinkle some mayonnaise on this fool. Eat him no homo. Just, just dumbness. Like, yo, I'm like, we, we, why, we watch the boy Gay Z in the regular episode take a L. How you, in, how you in the side non-canon canon episode taking a L? The same way you took a L previously. For you to then get eaten by Chimera. And I'm just like, yes. This is what it is because I've gone back and I've watched the other half episodes and I didn't really get a chance to really do nothing on those because all those episodes do a wonderful job. And, and those early episodes, again, like they did a wonderful job of explaining what the show doesn't have time to to build to that. But I'm like, especially the past couple, especially the one, especially the one that, that was five though, that was dumb. I'm like, if we going on the dumbness scale, this is a little dumber than that simply because it's Gay Z in the mix. It's, it's, it's Gay Z and Nito just clowning. And I'm like, you you really got to love like what all of that really represents. That the show was willing to sit up here and go out of its way with this extra time they have with these half episodes to close the book on things, to get you ready for what's coming next, and educate you if you're not familiar, and give a laugh for old fans. And I'm like, yo, this was off the chain. I'm like, just, that that whole thing was reference after reference after reference. And also in that, that we did learn some, we did learn the lesson of. It's like, how do rider watches work? You defeat another rider, give it to the rider in question who you going to get it from. Then in future, you get it back. We already knew this, but I'm glad that the show took its time in this comedic way to explain this fact. And I'm just like, yo, the, if, if, like, if this is what these are going to be, is that even though the last one was all about wives messing up lines or whatever, and... And and um and Sogo technically being eliminated from the show on accident purpose is that I really think that not sticking to one formula when it comes to these half episodes, but keeping it light, keeping it non-canon, but educating you about the canon is probably the best way to go and the best way to let it flow. I'm just like, yo, I had a hearty laugh. A hearty laugh, and you gotta love that. So it is what it is with that. But, yo, I told y'all I was going to come back on that 8.5 bins, like I said. Like, yo, it, it was good to see Nito. And I really think that given, and when I think about this, because this has dawned on me, given the way that Haruto ended up riding off into the sunset, getting his ultimate character development, and him and, that, and, him and Koyomi getting the clothes on a book, I really think that even though they may not have been able to get Haruto's actor, they get Nito is probably the best way to do that. It's like there will come a point where there will be a one, two, three, four, fifth episode that will explain, like, yo, what happens when riders don't show up. Like we had the one a couple of days, we had the one a couple of weeks ago about Ichigo Kurosaki and a Quincy not showing up because hey, you know, we too busy, you know what I'm saying, fighting hollows and whatnot with blades and you know, boat guns or whatever it is, you know what I'm saying, how Quincy get down. I had a thought about Bleach, and I just realized, nah, never mind. 
That movie was good though. I did not appreciate that Rukia in that dub was not voiced by Michelle Ruff because there is only one Rukia Kuchki, and that's who I hear. So it was like it was kind of it was kind of off putting for like the first couple of minutes. But given the state of the movie or whatever, I kind of understand why. But at the same time, understanding why Michelle Ruff was cast in that voice in the first place. Given so here's hoping they they finish the anime out, and here's hoping we get an English dub. It is hot down here. But regardless of that, children, let me get this sweat off my face so we can wrap this up. Yo, we've got more show for you. So I would like to take this time, you know what I'm saying, that I didn't get a chance. As usual, shout, shout out to the synagogue fam, my man Minister W holding it down for the whole congregation. May 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 we continue to win and make sure we dodge in these L's. Shout out to all my fam down there at the LAB, man, keeping you L free in these streets. Shout out to the squadron that team GRF, dog, keep you with everything you need. So with all of that being said, sit back, relax, stay tuned. Uncle Triple and the squadron at Team GRF TV got exactly what it is you need. And we will have more of that wonderful, wonderful goodness after these commercial messages. <laughs> No, wait. I got one more for you. Ten. She. See, see, I, I, I got my, I, I got, I got my beast down. Like, I'm like secret between, between internet and me. I've been on Amazon JP lately because I've been trying to order some crack rocks. You know what I'm saying? I have been looking at writer pimps. Like seriously. Like over the years, I see them in like the little commercials or whatever, and I'd be like, Yeah, I, I do that. I have been I have been staring at a double driver for a week. Tell everyone you know. We've got more show after these commercial messages. <laughs>